A very good evening to you from a typically noisy and pleasantly mild Selhurst Park. Excellent work by Saints. Starting bright. Redmond back on the left to Teller. No one to aim for, and they've gone backwards all the way to halfway. And Salisu back from suspension. Gives it to Lianco, back in the team with his gloves on still, mild as it is. And that's a thunderous challenge from Will Hughes. The referee was going to blow, and he didn't, and Palace could break. Edouard to Zaha in the box. This is dangerous, and he smashes it past Caballero. Sent in the wrong way with his eyes. And Will Zaha, within two minutes has given Palace the lead against Southampton at Selhurst Park, just like he did last season. Saints started well, they went backwards, Lianco made the error, and it's Palace 1, Southampton 0, the worst possible start. Well, that's not a good start for the players. The ball was played just inside their own half, they lost it on the halfway line, it was quickly played into Saha, he's broke through on his own, on the edge of the box. Saints trailing by a goal, and they've been second best since that first Palace attack that came, ended in Zaha's goal, they could have had more. And then Brose has done really well to Rob Kuyate, stop him from him, he's into the Palace half, he's got a man to his left and Will Smallbone on the break, Saints. Smallbone lines up the shot left-footed and really, it's the worst possible option he's taken, he smashed it into the Palace end. And he could have tried to find Brozier. He could. Have, he decided to hit it left-footed, but he got it all wrong. Goal kick, Palace. I'd like to have seen him, Adam, pretend to take it off his left, tuck in on his right, and either select Brozier or get the shot in off his right foot. Yeah. That second goal, from Palace point of view, we've got to try and keep this one nil. Small and try and pull it back. We don't want them to get a second one. Too easy for Palace there, and across from Zaha and Edward should have made it two 0 oh. That was too easy. Teller got nowhere near Gay. Then Smallbone got nowhere near Mitchell. They're both trying to close down, but they're both really late. And they just played it straight down the wing to Zaha, who crossed it, and Edward Too much done time better. and space on the ball, and Zaha's gone down the left. He's played a beautiful ball in along the floor. It's a knock-in. Now Smallbone. Back to Lianco. Strides in front of us. Uh, oh yeah, that's great work from Saints. Lovely play between Brozier and... Smallbone and then Brozier's fouled by Will Hughes to be another yellow card. About 25 yards out in Ward Prowse territory. I thought that was good play from Southampton. Nice. nice crisp, crisp, quick passing. Goalkeeper fairly central, Butland. Here comes Ward Prowse, curls it wonderfully! And that is his first free kick of the season. And he runs away to that far side where the Saints fans erupt and silence the rest of Selhurst Park. He was due. The captain was due, and he has delivered 25 yards out. Butland, no chance. Palace won, Saints won. Well, what do you say about Ward-Prowse? Absolutely amazing. I said the distance was right, just outside of the D, about three yards out of side of the D, left-hand side. Goalkeeper took his position up, up his steps, right foot, over the top of the wall, into the back of the net, and it's the first real shot they've had on target and uh, it's put them back in the game 1-1 one, one. Will he says with, with relief Butland he'll probably think well, that's the, all the thing I'm do. pleased about while it was 1-0 one, one I kept saying to you don't, we don't want Palace to get a second goal in it, it leaves us with a chance now, Walker Peters has got the ball back and then a long distance shot beats Butland and Brozier has done it again with that right foot he's 25 yards out almost where Ward Prass scored from and he just tried his luck by pulling the trigger early low and he's beat from Butland low to his right it's nestled in the bottom corner and Southampton in the space of less than four minutes have gone from 1-0 down at Selhurst Park and being totally outplayed to 2-1 up well, that's amazing. They've won the ball just inside uh, the Palace off on the right-hand side. They're playing into Brozier. He sets off. He takes a couple of strides, hits it, down to the goalkeeper's right. He smashed it past them, just inside the post. And I'll tell you what, that, that is brilliant play, that. Intercepted by Romeo. Redmond needs to deal with it. 
hangs it up in the air, no power or direction on it though, and Hughes can head it back towards the danger area, Romeo in front of Edward, stops him getting it, and then that header forward from Ayu, and a slip from Salisu, and a great save from Caballero, Edward had three bites at that for Palace, he had no angle to play with, but Caballero wasn't messing around as Salisu misjudged the bouncing ball in the penalty area, outstretched the leg, and then Caballero in the end, having saved once off his chest, made a second save with his hand. Benteke has gone up front, six goals against Saints, as Hughes hits the ball with the outside of his left foot from right to left to Mitchell, on to Zaha, Zaha into feet to Edouard, Edouard and Benteke will be a handful now, because back to the sc- Frenchman, then to Ayu, and Jordan Ayu scores for Crystal Palace! His first goal in 13 months from a narrow angle. Edward set it up. Saints have been pegged back. James Ward-Prowse is arguing with the referee. But from close range, after the build-up from Zaha into Edward's feet, Edward had a couple of goes. James Ward-Prowse is waiting for VAR or something. But with 25 minutes of normal time to go, it is 2-2 on a Really entertaining night at Selhurst Park between Palace and Southampton. But Palace are in the attacking third and Ward's gone past Walcott too easily. Curls it and the hand from Caballero stopped it going towards Benteke. Zaha's kept it in on the left-hand side. Support behind him from Mitchell. This is a worry. Mitchell crosses. Not dealt with. And then thoughtfully for Saints, it fell to Joel Ward. And he has absolutely pinged it about 50 foot over the bar into the stand. Goal kick Southampton, few. Long clearance from Caballero. Will Hughes brought it down, but then Edward just sort of stands on the ball and Saints get it back and they've played it down the right wing for Walcott. Walcott shows a couple of dummies and back heels it cleverly to Redmond into the box on the right, squares it to Genepo. Genepo's touch lets him down right when it mattered and then he shuts down the clearance, but it's a Palace goal kick and he just had to help it on yeah. to another player or get it out of it's his finish. Too, kid. You know, he's trying something there, just well. didn't come off for him. L- Long, who also has done well since he's come on, by the way. Well, he's a handful, isn't Battled he? Battled off Will Hughes for that, and that clearance from Palace isn't a good one. Ward-Prowse drives on it, 20 yards out, finds Genepo. Can't get the room for the shot, and again, he can only feed Romeo. Now Romeo's got options, he shoots, and he's a yard over the bar. Wasn't that far over, Romeo decided well, to hit it on his left foot. It's a chance, and he's 20 yards from goal. He's hit it true, but he's just hit it too straight and too high. They might have given up the two points, Dave. Ultimately, some people will say again, but they've had to battle for a long time, and they've given as good as they've got at Palace tonight, as Long does well from Caballero's clearance, and he finds Redmond. He's tackled by Mitchell, who was quickly in, and the referee says that is it at Selhurst Park. So Saints' winless run stretches to six games, but they stopped the rot after losing at Norwich, Liverpool and Arsenal.